Hey, what's up guys? So in this video, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at uh, some sample test shots of the NoPhoto. Uh, the NoPhoto is a device that's designed to attach to your car's license plate and uh, protect you from tickets, from red light cameras or uh, speed cameras. The idea is uh, when those cameras are gonna take a picture of your car, uh, there's a camera flash that fires and uh, the NoPhoto is designed to detect that camera flash and fire a flash of its own, uh, which will make it uh, too bright for the camera to actually recognize the license plate effectively, you know, creating too much light and overexposing the image so that your plate is uh, unreadable. And so um, in this video, I'm just gonna show you guys a couple different uh, test shots and different lighting conditions to show you how it works. Uh, it did take a fair amount of trial and error to get uh, these test shots to actually uh, simulate what a red light camera would do. Uh, I can, you know, adjust the exposure settings and all that kind of stuff, high and low, uh, and that's great, but that's not necessarily gonna be the same thing as what a red light camera would see. So um, uh, I definitely had to do a fair amount of trial and error to get it to the point where it matches. Now that I got that kind of squared away, let's go ahead and take a look at a, uh, a couple examples here of what it looks like. Uh, we'll start here with um, testing at night. So here's the back of my car. I know the car is kind of hard to see because it's at night. But uh, I've got my camera flash firing, and you can see the plate is nice and legible. It's really easy to see the, uh, the characters here on this uh, test plate that I used for this testing. Uh, now, when I turn on the no photo and I do the same thing, you can see the no photo is firing, and the plate is completely illegible. You can't see it at all, you know? You can't make out any characters. Uh, nighttime is probably one of the times when it's gonna work the best because the light that it's adding, there's not a ton of light to overpower, so it makes it a lot easier for the no photo. So at night, it works great. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and take a look now and zoom out. Uh, this is actually the full frame. Uh, the way the red light cameras and speed cameras are designed is they don't zoom in to take a picture of your car. They're actually gonna be kind of zoomed out to take a wide angle shot. And um, that way, you know, your car definitely falls within the image and they shoot kind of high resolution. So the idea is uh, they can then crop and zoom way in on the computer afterwards to see your plate. And that actually does kind of work out to our benefit because that means that any light that's being created is basically going to overflow into more pixels and it basically just has more of an impact when uh, the license plate is a really tiny uh, image on screen. So it's kind of nice for us. So it does work pretty well. So I'm going to show you guys kind of zoomed in pictures what it looks like, but it's actually uh, looking like this, right? So cool. Uh, next, we're going to go ahead and take a look at some daytime test shots. Uh, here is my car sitting in a uh, the shade, so it's daytime, but it's sitting in the shade, right? So uh, here's what it looks like with ambient light. There's no camera flash firing, there's no no photo, it's just lit from the sun or the shade, you know? Uh, we'll go ahead now and turn on my camera flash. So this is what the red light camera would see. You can see it is a little bit brighter if we go back and forth. So we're getting some light reflected on the plate from the camera flash. And then once we activate the no photo, here's what the image would look like from the no photo. So as you can see, it's uh, blanking out the license plate to make it completely illegible. Uh, the Use, they do use these like automatic uh, character recognition systems to, you know, OCR character recognition to uh, read it, and there's no way that it's going to be able to read this. Um, you can see on the edge, it is there is still a little bit of uh, characters that are visible, but there's no way they're going to be able to use their systems to make out your plate. So there you go. There is a test shot of uh, shooting in the daytime in the shade. Again, if we want to zoom out, uh, here's kind of the full frame image. I was about maybe 20 to 25 feet back. Uh, a real speed camera is going to be a similar distance, maybe even a little bit farther back, which again does work to our favor. So this is what it looks like, uh, the full frame. Uh, next, we're going to go ahead and take a look at one of the most difficult conditions, which is going to be direct sunlight. Uh, there's a lot more light hitting the car, so there's more light that the no photo needs to overpower, right? So here's what we're looking at. Uh, with the tail of my car actually in direct sunlight. So I've got no camera flash, no nothing. This is totally lit by the sun. Uh, next, here is uh, my camera flash. You can see the plate is definitely hotter. Um, it's getting more reflection. I probably should have backed down the exposure just a touch, but you can see the plate is definitely visible here, um, whether we would be uh, in the sunlight like this, or you can see you know, with no flash, or even in the shade in front of my car, it's darker there. Uh, but this would be good here um, in you know daytime. So this is what we've got for uh, no, no photo firing. And then once we go ahead and turn the no photo on, here's what it looks like in the daytime in direct sunlight. So you can see the plate, uh, we can't make out the characters. Uh, we can slightly make out maybe some of the edge characters on the outside, uh, but again, there's no way that it's gonna be able to read our plate. So in this case, it would be effective as well. Um, if we wanna go ahead and zoom all the way out, you can take a look. There's my car up ahead. Um, you can even see my shadow there on the right because the sun's out. You can see my camera on the tripod and everything and even the little flash sitting on top. 
But uh, yeah, so here's what it looks like in uh, direct sunlight. Uh, I did have a chance to test it, and uh, unlike the uh, previous generation, the first generation of the No Photo, which had some timing issues, uh, this one actually does work in practice. So uh, according to the test shots, it looks good. I got the test shots set up in such a way where they're mimicking what a, uh, a speed camera would actually see in real life. And um, you know, yeah, it seems like it works great. Uh, it's pretty much, I've had a chance to review kind of, you know, all the different products in this uh, category. This seems to be pretty much the best one out of any of the ones on the market. Uh, if you want to read my complete review of the No Photo, I'll put a link down in the video description, and also you can click on that link that just popped up on screen. Click on either one of those two, and you can read my complete uh, review of the No Photo to get familiar with uh, how it works, um, pros and cons, uh, pricing, all that kind of stuff, of course, right? So again, link in the video description. Um, um, to the uh, no photo review. So awesome. There you go. There's just a quick video showing you a couple different uh, sample test shots uh, from the no photo. So awesome. Hope that's been helpful. And uh, thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video.